and Nuke. Can they get Mirage here, though? That is the real question, isn't it? Heroic want to get this 2-0 on the board, get it locked in, get FaZe Clan down into the lower bracket. But it may not be quite so easy here on Mirage. We did see some great moments from FaZe there on Nuke. They can certainly turn things around. Having a look at the GG bet odds, though, and it seems they have shifted very drastically in the favor of Heroic now. So, people starting to come around, Mac. Yeah, they certainly seem to be favoring Heroic now as Heroic pretty passively set up here, expecting the push into jungle. Now let's see if Tessus is able to stop this. No, Ranger's going to be dancing around there, jumping across. It's Katie and to find first blood, though, as we are going to see Nika just try to edge his way up short now. But again, Heroic in such good position to Ooh. deal with the retake. Tessus. Seems to be spotted. He really needs to do a bit of work because kadian has gone down. Tessus, 19 HP. Nico's going to push forward. That's a double entry from the man. Steven up there in the apartments is not going to last too much longer either. That's a masterclass of a pistol round from Nico. The Glock just raining down Terra onto Heroic. And I don't think that other Nico is going to be having too good of a time about it either. He's on 10 HP, copped a headshot already. It was a great start to the round for Heroic, but oh. then Nico activated for FaZe, and that's yep. that. Just started to hit everything. Brokey chimes in as well, and FaZe quickly off to a much better start than what we saw over on Nuke. On the board nice and early, and as we head into the anti-eco, I'm sure that they will be able to stop Heroic, but... It'll depend on if Heroic decide to go for the buy or not, but for now, that remains unanswered. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, a little bit of an investment. Scout comes out for Nico. Tessus and the rest of the crew have got the Deagle and armor, so it's definitely an investment that can make something happen. Not any control at all over toward the B-bomb site. Heroic have essentially just given that part of the map up in favor of overweighting their defense in mid and towards the A bomb site early in the round. Faze are very restrained this time. I like this setup in ladder with Tessus and Stown back to back. Yeah, they're ready for the trade, but Faze a slow approach to connect up. Do see the rotation back from Brokey as well, but just making sure nothing's happening here over towards the top of mid as it's just dry through Connor's Nico. Gonna get his head ripped off by Rain. All right, now just looking to push for a bit of a main control. Cold starting to make his way out, pal, but mm. the isolated fight turns in to so many of Faze just pacing him there. And Heroic. Unable to find too much. Can still make this a bit more expensive, though, given the fact that Rain's down on 1 HP. He's probably just going to try and take it a bit chill, but you do see him kind of walking, wandering into jungle. So he's definitely not afraid. Heroica, more than content, it seems to just let FaZe Clan have this round and maybe try and keep the Deagles through. Nico will fall to Cadian, so that's another frag on the board for Heroic. Old Zero is going to go hunting for this frag, but he's going to get banged out of the server as well. Kadian really starting to show up now on Mirage. Can he get one more? Rain was one HP, just didn't quite cock the gun in time. David has his chance on the Kier B as well. That could have been even more expensive for FaZe than it was. Certainly breaking the bank a bit, but FaZe still able to fully buy up into round number three. Securing that second round as well. A very solid start to their map pick of Mirage. The T-sided rounds, very valuable hit. Heroic. We're going to see a couple of HEs purchased up, maybe an airstrike somewhere. Faze again, just looking to head towards the A-side, two at a main, three towards the top of mid. Expecting this aggression from Heroic now. As Burrup started the push up mid, regroups with the troops over towards Connector as the a site util starts to come through. It's a late push at mid, and FaZe just might be able to collapse it. Heroic with the firing squad have essentially really run into a firing squad, it seems like. One grenade kill for Stavin, but nothing to get too overly excited about for Heroic. FaZe get through the pistol, and then the subsequent couple of force slash eco rounds from Heroic. This is where Mirage is really going to kick off, though. 
once we get into this gun round, Heroic are going to have to put up a good showing and they start to wrestle some control back in this series. I know that's a weird thing to say when they're up 1-0 and zero as far as the maps are concerned, but mm -hmm. if they do want to get over the line here on Mirage, it's going to have to start right now. The CT side is a, a half of the map that can really run away from you if things start to get problematic with that economy. Economy? Economy. Pushes hard at 3 a.m., ladies and gentlemen, but here we are, four up. One for one so far. He's got himself the M4 in hand. Cold Zera. A bit of work done with that Mac 10, but that's ballsy and it works out. Well done from Borup. He's got full control now of the palace. And that's the thing, Brokey. He cannot afford to miss shots like those. A man shift walking through a smoke at you. It should be a sitting dark, but it just doesn't happen. And FaZe now in a 2v4 situation. Heroic. Just all over round number four. It wasn't even the rifles that was the answer. It was just a very fortunate timing coming out from Borup there. Yeah, and what's going to have to be pretty important here as well is that uh, Heroic was able to get through with the majority of these guns alive. Now, it is triple AWP at the moment. I'm not sure that will persist. Borup just probably using that to get himself an easier kill in a situation like that. Very smart. He was low HP, and that's great. So now we do get to see whether they actually want the triple AWP, and yeah, in the end, it's going to just be the AK picked up by Borup. But great round from the man. Four kills. And such an impactful play this early on in the half is going to be fantastic for Heroic. A bit of wind in their sails, I'd imagine, now. Let's see if they can close the distance here. Phase economy about to be broken if they cannot convert here in round number five. The utility going to be utilized. Cadian happily trying to fight here. Rain is going to be walking into a whole bunch of crosshairs. Two orbs, too many. As Rain and Nico suffer a grave fate. And that's going to be a two man advantage already for Heroic. What can FaZe do to make this one expensive or even just get back into the round? Kiebi with the dry push out. A main. Just not the answer this time. Molotov as well. Enough to flush out the CTs, but Cadian, oh, he's looking sharp. Yeah, just. Sits on the line and waits, not baited out by the peak of Cold Zero. Really sets himself. Makes sure that he hits that shot and puts Heroic into another really good position here. FaZe are liable to not get too much damage done in this round. And Heroic can really start to look to build up that CT economy, which to be honest has already started to happen. But if they can get through this round with four or five guns alive, FaZe are going to actually be playing from behind for quite a while in this half. Heroic really seemed to have gotten rolling quite early on in the piece, keeping that momentum coming through from Nuke. Kadian finishes another one. That's another 4K from an individual on Heroic. So Borup and Kadian having no problems at all moving into the CT side of Mirage. It was the perfect round as well. No casualties suffered, and that is going to be huge moving forward for Heroic here. Plenty of money in the bank if they do manage to pile on a round or two, but I don't think that's going to be one of those as, again, the banks are looking cooked right now. Some below 2k, but a three round loss bonus might not be too bad for them as they should have a very healthy buy into round number seven. But for now, what can they get done just on the Glocks? Oh, Heroic will be hoping not very much. To be honest, this is the perfect start to the half for Heroic. I guess, I mean, perfect half would have been getting the pistol round, but it's about as good as you can really expect. Two rounds in a row where Four or five members are alive. And Heroic uh, putting FaZe under the pump really early on on their own map choice. A little bit of sneak through the connector right now for FaZe and see if they can manage to catch Nico or Kadian off guard. It's a big spray from Nico. He only does manage to get a couple, but that's more than acceptable for Heroic, keeping all four of those guns alive. Really solid cleanup. And again, Heroic just happy to play the patience game, happy to stay passive and allow FaZe to make the first move. However, I'm really liking the proactivity of their mid control, just trying to fight together, going for the three-man investment in that section of the map. But let's see what FaZe can do now. They're back on the rifles. Brokey down to a Galil, though, just to get an extra utility on the belt. Is this the tipping point, or can Heroic put four on back-to-back -back against FaZe Clan here? Uh, that would be, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's a nail in the coffin so much because that's a little bit too preemptive, but too early. You know, maybe they've started standing down the sides of the coffin or they've 
felled the tree at that point. You know they're, what I mean? They're not that wrinkly yet. No one's dying here today, Jordan. Oh, here are, if they the put four bracket. together on the CT side. Starting to look really good. FaZe Clan. I'll have to deal with another four on five situation. Kadian is having a ball with the AWP right now. Doing God's God. work. Doesn't matter where he is. He's getting picks, he's getting impact. Kadian's gonna be flashed into mid, oh. but punished this time. I don't even know if Rain could see him. But he's killed him. So that's a nice bit of brilliance from Rain. An advantage again for Heroic though, and FaZe have really struggled from this position in the last couple of rounds. Let's see if Tessus can maybe get on a line here. Strong position to at least hold some connector control. Dropping onto the cinder blocks, I think that as we do see FaZe, they've gone for this rotation all back towards a main. We're going to go with the strength in numbers approach. However, double setup at CT is going to be very hard to get past. Very hard to secure a bomb plan, especially with only 20 seconds on the clock. Indeed. Well, Cold is doing a good job of clearing out most of the site. But oh, that's a shot. That's the one that'll get FaZe actually into the bomb site. Tessus and Nico starting to rotate across, and maybe it's not as easy as it made it out to be, but a chance here for FaZe. They needed just one more frag, and they haven't quite gotten it. Time's ticked away a little bit too much, and Nico holds strong. Cold, he did all that hard work getting the pick onto Borup, but it didn't matter. And Heroic get through with three, and that, again, is a really, really good round in the context of FaZe having guns this time. And another really solid one for Heroic. It doesn't seem like they're putting a foot wrong right now on the CT side of Mirage. But that's the lead gained by Heroic and FaZe. Unfortunately, just hitting the brakes just at the worst possible moment. Unable to get over the line there in round seven. But as we head to round eight, FaZe are going to be taking a tactical just to discuss on where they are going to go. And a few times I've noticed at the start of the round, Kiebi has been looking slightly lost. So... Maybe just trying to find his feet in where he's supposed to be playing, where he's supposed to be heading. Yep. So keep an eye on that one. As it can just, you know, waste a second or two. And those seconds can matter. Especially off the bat, if Heroic want to go for an aggressive play, they can get onto some early lines there at mid. This time Faye is looking very sorted indeed. And it's going to be that mid presence again, displayed by four of the FaZe Clan members. Yeah, Heroic don't seem to be too concerned by that at all. They've got Nico just keeping an eye on Connector. It's a fast play from FaZe. The flash is good onto Nico, and the shots are good from the Tech 9 as well, but the cleanup is even better. Heroic, Tessus, and Cadian. They can pat themselves on the back for that one because it was on the teetering point of maybe getting out of hand once Nico got overwhelmed at Connector. But Heroic have just been so fast with their rotations and their trades. It's mm. been really good to watch. It's like they're always set up just to be fighting on these crossfires. You know, the deep set up there, fighting from triple, fighting from short. Huge crossfire under Con, and that one's devastating for FaZe Clan. They could have got pretty much, you know, way more than the single. Rain certainly doing a great job to at least get that entry, but unfortunately FaZe just get completely collapsed on. And Heroic's positioning seems to be the key here on their CT side. Again, FaZe is going to be going back towards the guns now. Warp in the hands of Brokey, and we saw what this could do on Nuke. So let's see if this is the answer that FaZe have been looking for. If that can open a side or not. It's like, you know, boys do have a bit of an idea of where FaZe is at the moment. That grenade indicates their thoughts, and uh, the entry into the site hasn't been too good from FaZe just yet. Stamets going bananas with the AWP at the moment. Brokey can't even trade down for cold, and... That's going to be that. Another really clean round. Heroic, uh, I don't even know what to say about this, Mac. They've barely lost a player in this half. Every single round, it's like maybe one person dies, but who, who really cares? It's too easy at the moment for Heroic. FaZe kind of have to do something. They have to pressure them a little bit. They certainly are looking a little lost at the moment. Heroic, you know, you've got Stown and Kadian both on that double AWP, and it just seems to be working an absolute treat. But FaZe, it seems like they're just forcing their hand with these faster approaches, thinking they might have the timing. But Heroic, just the quick rotations, realizing that FaZe Clan are just playing this together. It's just yeah. working so well for them at the moment. There hasn't been that much nuance, has there, from uh, FaZe. There's no push and pull. There's no double pumps. There's no fakes. It's just, we're going to go B. We're going to hit that bomb site hard and hope for the best. And Tessus is there, ready and waiting for us alongside the Orb of Stown. It's going to be a tough entry to the bomb site here for FaZe. Three on four. 
They've at least managed to find themselves an entry, but they're going to need a little bit more than that, and Nico presents it. But it's at the cost of a trade. Care B drops in the meanwhile, so still the numbers persist for Heroic. And now is when it's going to be really difficult to get a bomb plan down, because Short is in control of Borup, and he's caught Nico. Bomb does eventually get planted, but it's still looking a bit too easy for Heroic at this point. And I haven't seen Borup play too many matches, but he's been very much impressing me this evening on that rifle. Him and Tessus especially, they are just ripping up, shredding up FaZe Clan tonight and looking to con confirm this uh, success in the upper bracket, looking to make their way forward. And they want this 2-0. They are hungry here. FaZe have just conceded seven rounds in a row to Heroic. All it took was a couple of guns on the board and that just turned into some rounds. Quick, smart. Money in the bank as well. Heroic, they are going to be laughing here. Almost everyone over $10,000. That's ridiculous. Brokey <laughs> just lining up a flash, waiting for the rest of FaZe yep. to call for it. Well, for the mid again, control. It's just going to be the whole FaZe clan headed in one direction. They've thrown a couple of mollies into that connector smoke and a bunch of util as well. The grenades from FaZe not finding their mark. Broica looking quite comfortable at the moment, but perhaps one weakness over toward the B bomb side. It's a four player stack on A. Stown. Dodges that flash initially. Managed to connect the shot, but he gets the info at least that there's a couple of players floating into mid. Nico gets a little inquisitive and he's punished for that nature. But if Faze do commit to this A bomb site, which is where they were sort of angling towards, there's mm. still three players over there that they have to deal with. So unless a good read comes in from Faze and they just cancel on that, head over to B, might still not actually be as easy as it looks in a five on three. Yeah, five well, on four. At the mid round, we have just seen Borup and Tessus pushing straight into a main and clearing out that section. So that's not only a whole amount of information, but a perfect setup as well to play for the retake here for Heroic if the A site is hit. However, FaZe, they have started to shift the focus over towards the B site now. Util coming through and Stown's got a huge job ahead of him as well as four of the FaZe clan members starting to make their way through. You've even got the flank here from Nico, which hasn't been spotted either. He's done. And this is looking like, like a solid defense, kind of just broken apart in the case of one round. I mean, that's all it takes, right? FaZe have gotten themselves into the B bomb site. Heroic have looked so, so good up to this point. But one round breaks it open and FaZe are back to 7-4. Heroic have plenty of cash, so the economy is not going to be a concern for them. But mm. a bit of momentum wind in their sails and FaZe are going to be a team that you definitely don't want to underestimate even if Heroic have been going through a lot of these rounds quite comfortably, quite cleanly. CT Economy can drain pretty quickly. All it's going to take is a couple more rounds here for FaZe. They're back on top. So it's important that Heroic don't rest on their laurels right now, similar to what happened on, on Nuke. You know, they got off to such a good start and they let FaZe get back into the game and it became quite difficult in the end. They had to really work hard to finish the map oh, off. Oh, how's the timing? Molly goes down and that's going to maybe cause some extra damage. Nico burns alive. Brokey and Kierbi both going to survive, but look, two kills off the back of one. That's a solid trade given the financial situation of FaZe. And now they are not going to be happy with their situation. Someone's going to have to take a cut. Really Ooh. big plays, really big exits coming out there from Heroic right at the end. But FaZe, they have slotted another on the board before it's too late. Love that one from the replay operator. The old zoom in. Great stuff. FaZe, the one, uh, Nico rather, the one tap king. 7 to 4. Heroic will definitely be looking to answer. And this one's a bit more of a default setup from FaZe. Not sending all five of their players to one area of the map, but. Look, honestly, Kadian's been pretty unstoppable with the AWP, and to be fair, that one, he didn't even need to really work too hard for. So, if they're going to give him peaks like that, peaks like this, it's going to make life of Heroic pretty easy. Just untradeable positions being found, and another from Tessus as well. Rain, he's only on 4 HP. The round seems to be almost done, and it's only half over. A minute left on the clock, and Rain and Brokey, Need to put in some solid groundwork to try to get back into this one. And I don't think it's going to happen. Brokey, he's gotten one, but it's cost him half his health. I think this, is, this is, again, the thing. It's like every single time the CTs win a round, they win a round with four or five players alive. And, I mean, that's a consolation prize. Brokey getting that kill, but it's negligible in the grand scheme of things with the amount of cash that's in 
the back pockets of Heroic right now. So I don't really know what you do right at this point as phase. Obviously, hashtag win rounds would be a good answer, but it's not as easy as that. When all of Heroic are turning up, hitting their shots, getting themselves in the right positions, rotating well and trading effectively, mm. it's all coming together for Heroic in this game right now, and FaZe are unable to answer it. Oh, round loss bonus. Should allow Kierby to drop a raffle across, but Brokey and Rain is going to be broken to the next, but at least maybe able to take the raffle. Doesn't look like Heroic is interested in hunting at all, just... Focusing on their own economy here, Cadian. Almost hitting that 16k mark. Just maxing out the economy. Able to drop across as well, make sure Nico doesn't spend too much there. Trying to equalize the finances. But again, Jordan. Yep. I have to ask. Okay. I made my sate roux for you and you didn't you didn't thank me. What's going on? Was it bad? It wasn't quite to my taste, man. Not too bitey? Yeah, you, I think you've overcooked it. I don't like phase. It's not quite there yet. They're marinating. Yeah, they're smoking in the oven. They're stewing. But Heroic is cooking up a mighty fine barbecue if we're going to continue with that analogy at this point. I certainly would like to be invited to their backyard party. Couple of snags on the barbie. You know how it is. Fair income. Yeah, too right, Sheila. Too right, too right. Yeah, Koba. Yeah. Do you reckon that's what uh they do to get hyped? I reckon it is. Anyway, this is a pretty crucial round for FaZe. So nothing's happened for a minute. They've just used this patience, waiting for some very slow and structured mid control heroic. They've gone for a push into A main. Again with this setup, they've found a huge amount of success. And with these smokes. You might actually see a B site hit, but with Cold still lurking there in Palace, and if he hasn't heard a thing, then Hayes could just be walking straight into this trap at A, mate. They're not going to be walking into it with a lot of time left either, so clearing the angles is going to be a little bit rough for them. And if they fail to clear an angle, they essentially just lose the round. Mistakes not acceptable anymore. Borup gets the smoke down, which makes life even a bit easier, but Nico, he's finished off by Nico. Through the smoke. The phase are going to be able to walk into the A bomb site, but they do only have 18 seconds to get this bomb plant down, so disaster can still strike. Looks like they'll be okay. The bomb plant is sta safe. Yeah, solid approach there through A main. Just able to crack open the round, and now Heroic. Look, they don't need to save here. They've got money for days. Just waiting out that utility test. Just finds the re entry, finds the equalizer. Kadian edges forward. We've only got 20 seconds to get to site and defuse now. Well, as much as the money that they have, they may be better off saving. FaZe do still have two players alive, but there's a smoke. Tessas and Kadian, they felt like they wanted to go for it. They won't get it over the line this time. I guess there's not that many rounds left in the half, so they may as well try and make that happen. They're going to buy the half out anyway, which is fair enough. So... Good attempt from Heroic, at least. Plays are back up to five, and what's pretty critical here for Heroic is that they don't just let the pressure off in these last couple of rounds. You know, this this half can still go to eight seven, when in reality it's it's kind of looked like a ten five half from this point, but it's still requiring a little bit to get to that point from Heroic. Well, at least FaZe managed to salvage the half now. If they can turn it to an 8-7 to seven score line, I'm sure they'll be extremely happy given it was so far behind not long ago. It's just going in pairs with a bit of mid control there. Two at the back of apartments just defaulting, waiting for Heroic to make an aggressive play. Heroic now just gauging. Over towards mid, trying to boost up there on the double stack. But there it is. Push in at the perfect moment. And Stown, he's got first blood there at Pal. Off the back of that phase, we are going to see the rotation from the back of Apps. Brokey just looking to go and regroup with the rest. Kiebi finds an entry for phase now. 
still have someone probing on short, though. That's Kadian at the moment. And I wonder if FaZe are going to be prepared for a, another play out from that angle. Nico is certainly interested. That's a bit of a whiff from Kadian. Could have been a number advantage for Heroic, but now it's really on to Nico. And he's got himself a freebie on Terrain, who was quite low on HP. Still 26 seconds to try and survive. Rotations are coming in. That's a huge duel to win for Borup. Kirby goes down trying to hold off the flank. But 18 seconds and the bomb's still not down. FaZe have really been letting these rounds tick away. Sound cops a couple of bullets, some damage in the end. Nico dueling, Borup up on short, but that's a shot, headshot indeed. That's down, he knows exactly where Brokey is, shouldering the angle, giving time for Borup to just walk up short. They're gonna try and get this two on one. Don't oh. give him the one V1s, but they have. And Borup goes down. Now Stown has to do it himself. Coming out from market with an AWP as well, Mac. Not going to be easy. I don't know if it can happen, but Brokey's worked the timing. There's still 10 seconds to defuse here. Stown needs to get on it. Taps it, looks for Brokey. How's the time? He needs to hit a shot. But it's Brokey in the one on two, 3k for the round. And there it is. Six on the board for FaZe Clan. Brokey again. Just coming through for FaZe. Yeah, I mean, Heroic just fumbling it a little bit at the end of the half here, giving FaZe that inroad back into the map that they maybe didn't look like they were going to get earlier on in the piece. There'll still be enough money for Heroic to get a really good buy done here for round 15. FaZe are starting to ramp up a bit. And Heroic are slowing down. So Heroic are definitely going to want to get to that nine. Three round counts in this kind of a matchup, and Borup's given them a good chance of doing that. Early pick. Conversion rate on that should be about 75 to 80%, oh. turning your first pick into a round win. How's that for timing? Kadian off the line as Nico would have gone down completely for free. Nate off the wall as well, just misses that mark. Yeah, B, but Nico comes in over Con. There's the trade from Nico. As he's going to be fighting, almost finds himself the triple. Ridiculous situation. But has he really done enough there? Unfortunately, it's still not going to give the numbers over to FaZe. Creeping their way over towards the A-bomb side. Brokey's just watching out of Palace with the orb. I'm not sure really how they're going to get across. There's one smoke for Brokey. All he does go for under Balk. And Kadian certainly has spotted Brokey. Jumping backwards and forwards. Now the smoke goes down. Hadian isn't actually smoked off here. It was thrown more so into Connector. And, well, not much you can really do about that one. Brokey, I like the intent. Has to make something happen, but can't. And it's 9-6 at the end of the well, 9-6 at the end of the first half. One might argue it could have been a better half from them. But it certainly wasn't a bad one either. The odds are favoring Heroic still. And FaZe definitely have a lot of work to do to get back into this series. Heroic certainly off to a cracker. As Stown is going to be destroyed here. Rain from Ticket just looking for more, but Borup shuts him down before he can get anything going. Oh, wow. B on B, it's going to be Brokey falling. Borup's been really impressive on this map. 18 and 17 seems to always come in with impact frags. That's a bit of a mistake, but it's actually not going to be punished for it there, Nico. Borup is going to need some help challenging into CT spawn. And now that the bomb site is safe, they can get the bomb plant down. That could have gone from bad to worse, to be honest, if uh, Nico would have actually managed to hit those shots onto Nico and deny the bomb plant. But now, one on three, it starts well for Nico. Got a couple more to find. Borup taking a bit of a peek. That's dangerous. You don't want to give these kinds of opportunities to Nico. But here come the peaks, oh. one on one. Borup gets it done and he continues to be impressive, doesn't he? I had flashbacks to what Kiebi did earlier. I thought it might have just been in the FaZe Clan's game to get another again, but unfortunately Nico just couldn't get it done this time. Three was just too many. And FaZe, they allow Heroic to stretch out that lead. Four rounds now. We head into the second phase. Want to make up for it, so they've gone for the force, and the Deagles in the hands of these men is just such a dangerous prospect. Indeed it is. But to be honest, Heroic haven't really had too many problems dealing with the Force Bias so far on Mirage. Admittedly, that was all on the CT side, so maybe it's a different task for them this time. Grenade's going to go flying on in from Kier B. Doesn't do too much damage, but Tessus might have overcommitted. Oh, dear. I've cast a curse, haven't I? 
I was just a little bit discombobulated, uncoordinated from Heroic. They went one by one, and that made it a bit too easy for FaZe. Need some flashes to assist that. I don't know what you've reckoned, Mac, but I always feel like one of the B-bomb site on an anti-eco is a very risky business. I don't know how you think about things sometimes, because since you told me that you sniff tinnies, I just can't take anything you <laughs> say seriously. I'm a, I'm a fan of tinnies. Love them. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan of the tinnies. Anyway, there, boy. Stown has found a completely empty A site. Unfortunately, the exactly. The bomb is down at B. So, big flank could come through here. One on one with rain, a possibility. But with 30 seconds, they've got to get a wriggle on. I think Kuroka are just going to save their guns, to be honest. They got the AK, they got the Galil. They've given one AK over to FaZe, but. Still be able to scrounge something together here, Heroic, for the next round. Pretty important that they don't let FaZe get onto the right foot here on the CT side. Because uh, I think FaZe, with the full utility, all the guns that they want, can kind of become a little bit oppressive to play against when they're on the CT side of Mirage. Well, at this point as well, just keeping the weapons out of the hands of FaZe Clan is going to be, I guess, a detriment. Mostly to Phaser's economy, as well as another chance for Heroic here in round number 18. But oh, the Deagle's just doing God's work. Scout as well from Brokey. Man is on this evening. This morning, however you really this want to morning. look at it. This morning, this evening. 4.20. We're here in from the, the future. Morning. Blaze it. Counter -Strike. Do you want to know? I know a lot of things. I know what happens in this match because, as I've already said, it's, it's 4 a.m. on the 20th of August. So... Well, it's 4.20 on the 20th of August. Wow. I'm sure everyone in uh, Europe and North America would love to know what happens in the future. But we do have a pact as Australians not to let, let the, the, secrets, the yeah. rabble in on the secrets. So uh, greetings from tomorrow. Quite good in tomorrow. The world's still spinning, still gone. Life's okay. Did you, uh, did you bring that button? Because I um I've actually lost the button. I think you lost the button. I don't know. How the hell, Jordan? Have well, you gone and lost the button? I really thought we would only need it one time. What? Why would you ever think that? I thought that once we pressed it once, it would fix everything. Jordan, we cast Asian Counter Strike. We need the button at the ready every single game. Well, Why would you forget the button on the day of Cologne? I don't really know what to say. Maybe someone could find it again. Billy! Billski! Here he is. Did you... Did you see where Jordan put the button? Did you... Did you see? He's, he's walking slowly. What's going on? Are we back on this again? What do you mean back? Did I asked you a simple question? Did, wh why didn't you bring the button in? We don't need the button. Yes, we do. It's, it's waiting for a slight technical issue, Mac. <sighs> don't panic, mate. I'm it's impatient. Okay. It's okay. How are we feeling about this game, guys? Pretty good. Pretty good, honestly. Hanging in the balance, I reckon. Pretty I similar to that last game. Like nine six half for heroic. Phase pegs back a couple of rounds. Yep. Whoa. Um, ah. Someone's actually asked, because we are in the future, he wants to get his GCSE results for tomorrow. A plus. You A did good, mate. You did. You yeah, did. you did good, mate. <laughs> did. Game. Don't even worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to Pulski for bringing us the button. Well, I hope, uh, you know, your GCSE results are... What even is a GCSE? <laughs> Just say they're good, Jordan. <laughs> Just don't ask questions, all right? That's not what we're here to do. We're here to answer them. Good Counter-Strike education? Is that what it is? GCSE? That makes sense. A plus in your good Counter-Strike education, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, game's back on. 20 seconds in. And we already have two big picks. Burrup and Stown doing God's work here. Just cracking open the A site. And FaZe need to find an answer shortly. Yeah, well, this is a great answer from Heroic. Cold Zera has a few answers of his own, maybe. 
But with the bomb plant down now, this is going to get a little bit tougher for FaZe, trying to make this retake happen. They do have three smokes to work with. Oh, and that bomb is actually going to be planted there for CT, so these players over at Ooh. jungle won't get too much done. Nico over triple, finds a one dig, but does he expect the second man? Cold so far away, just looking to save that M4. At this point, Brokey, hands on the AK, and he's going to be backing out slowly as well. Yeah, it's not good news at all for FaZe, is it? That's one of the rounds that they really needed to sort of sweep together. CT side, if things start to slip away from them, they'll be in trouble, that's for sure. Money is not looking good on uh, FaZe Clan's bank account. Whoa! <gasps> we missed that one. Burrup! <laughs> what an entry. The Deagles just demolishing FaZe right now. But as we head in to round 19, Heroic again. Just looking to get a bit of redemption. However, FaZe, they've bought up. All gone for a weird half investment. Just grabbing some smokes. AKM4 retrieved some Deagles to bolster the firepower. Early stack to be expecting a faster approach. But Heroic just hitting the brakes after taking some control at mid. FAs, they've gone for that early rotation. Three, moving towards A now. Just cold at mid, listening for info. It looks like FaZe is going to push any of the extremities. They have three players over toward A. No one's pushing Palace. Heroic have given up a lot of map control over on the A side of the map, but FaZe are not taking advantage of that right now. It's a slow creep in towards B. Yeah, B is just going to pop a nade into mid, but for now, Heroic are relatively untouched. Heroic do like to go toward the B bomb site on their anti ecos. It's a bit more of an anti force fight from them. Let's see if they can make it work. It didn't go too well for them oh. last time, and maybe it will be a similar result here. Care B, only a one for one, and he definitely needed more. There was no one else from FaZe to help him out this time, and so Heroic will get into the bomb site, get a bomb plant down. If they can manage to get another rifle here, we can see a buy from FaZe in the next, even given the financial situation. But you can see, look at this, Heroic. Just making sure that AK gets passed across to Tessus now. Nico doing God's work there, helping out the teammates. Finding those upgrades wherever possible. And then we are just going to see Heroic looking to save. Gentlemen's agreement, no one hunting for anything here. Only two casualties in the round, and that's all it took for Heroic to find themselves a 12th now. That's going to be the five-round lead, and just four rounds away from taking the series to zero. That's kind of crept up on us, hasn't it? Slowly but surely, Heroic have really just been putting one foot in front of the other. RKO, out of nowhere. <gasps> Billy, we don't need it, but he's found the button. <gasps> See, now you, uh, do I even give it back to you? I, I, don't, I can't trust you, Jordan. I just want to press it. Thought it might have stopped the game. I'm just, just going to put that there. Put anyway, put it over there. Yep. just put it in a safe spot. Make sure we have the button. So we do have the button, ladies and gentlemen, just um, in case you were wondering. Anyway, it's a two-man push through underpass. Brokey and Rain. Will they be at the ready? Still certainly seems to be, but the Deagle transferred to the AK. Rain finds the double, and it is going to be phased now with a man advantage. Four on three, though, and the buyer is still looking a bit lackluster for phase, and this is still salvageable for Heroic. They've got a lot of util. They can still get themselves into that A bomb site. There's only two CTs here, so this is still numbers advantage for Heroic on the entry to the bomb site. They're going to need to hit clean entries, though, if they want to keep it that way. And that's oh. certainly oh. not it. Oh, Nico. He's doing Nico things once again, tapping away. Cold Zero will help him out, and that. That's just about it, isn't it? Heroic are going to have to deal with it, but not a fun way to lose a round where Faze didn't really invest too much. Big picks coming out from the two-man push at unders, and there you have it, Faze. They're not done just yet. Big shots from Nico. Look at those. Four-round lead now for Heroic as Tessis wants some early aggression. Brokey 
Takes one with him though, so even trades. The trade's still favorable enough for Heroic at the moment. Looks like they want to be quick into the A bomb site. They're already up and out of connector. Down is keeping an eye on things from the palace position and Heroic are going to look to clear out CT spawn. They've got Tessus watching for the rotate, but he might be watching the wrong direction in the end. Kirby doesn't decide to go back to mid. He's wrapped all the way around to T-Spawn. Good start to the round for Heroic. But they need to hold off this retake and there is plenty of util for FaZe to play. Get that smoke down onto the bomb side, allow them to get out of CT spawn a little bit safer. Now the rest of the util gets thrown on in. Flashes, it's down though, it stands and delivers. Ooh. One for one trade, Care B flying through from ramp. Smoke's down on the bomb and FaZe are going to have to start tapping it pretty shortly. Borup in the perfect position to deny this. Defuse and he'll do just that. It's a two on two, but Heroic, I don't know if they're going to get this one. They don't, oh! Tessas with a cuddle at. <laughs> He's got them both to clutch it. The body block, not enough in that situation, and Heroic send it to a 13th. What a couple of shots coming out from Tessus to secure that round. Faze, they had them dead to rights, but look at the lineup. That's excellent work. And Heroic, just when Faze are starting to get the ball rolling a little bit, send an uppercut back in their direction, and now we're back to square one for the CT side. Look at this buy, it's terrible. They've got rifles and orps, yes, but there's no util at all. Old Zera, very lucky to get across there into ladder room without being punished by Nico. Beautiful nade onto Nico there. Been dumped at the perfect moment, but it's the push out on B, and Kirby can't hold as well. Cold, he's gone. Kadian doing the honors as Nico sits at top mid. Yep. Look, he's having a good time. No one's harassing him. That's going to be a save from FaZe. Uh, that's how quickly you can win around. Have we reached that tipping point, Mac? Do you reckon, you know, does FaZe have much of a chance of coming back from this or is it too far gone? Ah, you can never say never with FaZe, you know. All it takes is one momentum-based round and then they can just stack on round after round and get straight back into the game, but... At this point, heroic. They're just looking like they're in another league right now. That's 14 to 8. Good news for FaZe is at least they saved a few guns through, so they've got a fighting chance here to deny it from going to OT and mm. to be fair they've been pretty good with the cheaper buys the force buys even the half buys the Eagles have been quite dangerous but they've actually opted to go towards the MP9s instead for Coldzera and Kierby round by round FaZe just Knocked out time and time again. Heroic, just so good at entering into these sites, just finding the timing and winning the head-to-head -head engagements. And this is ballsy from FaZe as well to leave Kierby on his own with an MP9 only to defend the B bomb site. Now he has pushed oh. up quite a long way, all the way into kitchen almost. It's down. Drops early on in the piece. Kierby, unlucky maybe not to get two, but Heroic. They want to speed things up by the looks of things, although. They just throw a bit of a fake, a bit of a utility into the B bomb site, draw the rotation back across, and then cancel. They got plenty of util to play with here, Heroic. But to be honest, this is not fooling anyone. FaZe know exactly what's going on. It's not a push into the B bomb site. There's not enough players there to really sell that. So it's back to a bit more of a default setup. 2 2 per bomb site. Heroic are working their way back over to A. But even so, you're walking into cold and rain here. That smoke's going to fade by the time Heroic make their way through Palace. And with 30 seconds, you can see an advancement from Nico at the back of apartments is enough to figure out the information. Brokey now is going to start rotating back towards the A site. They know with 20 seconds, Heroic, they need to make a sound. They need to make a move. The clock is ticking down and FaZe 
are about to fully stack the A site. It looks like Heroic might have just missed their hole. They might have missed the timing indeed. Rain holding strong for the moment, but Coldzera is not. He drops to Nico. Cadian's got actually another frag. It's on to Nico here. And he goes down to Rain. If he doesn't win that Angel, they can't win the round. And Borop, well, he held on to the palace line, but the apartments line, but he doesn't really have much of an impact on the round in the end. That's great work from Rain. Needed to get that double. And he did. So phase of five. The phase doing the right thing by hunting for some info at that right moment. But again, Heroic probably shouldn't have left it that late. They gave themselves no time to clear out anything on site, and then they just got shredded apart. So that might just be what FaZe needed to get back into the game. But for now, let's see if they can string some together. It's going to be a faster approach straight out. Pal now flashes, enabling him. But it's a one for one Ooh. range, just trying to hold here. Well, getting Borrow up into the round early is always good news for Heroic because he has been the standout for them on Mirage. Kier B, he's got Nico, but it's not really worth cheering about when he now has to deal with a one on three. It looks like the decision is already made that it might actually end up being a save for him. Mm. Well, 1v3 is a big, hard, long mission for him. And Tessa's head just going to be spotted barely. Bink through the wall. And it's not enough. The nade, nade. might be. Ooh, misses the mark. And Tessus should have time to run away. But Kierby, his position is known. And Heroic, they do not have the economy to hunt for this one. Might be able to lose just one weapon. Not really worth it at this point. FaZe no. isn't even going to get a good buy through anyway. So let him have that M4. And as well, if FaZe do manage to win the next round, if they do manage to break Heroic's economy, then there's going to be nothing in the tank, and that's when comebacks can happen. But still, that's a tall ass. It's a big comeback. Heroic are looking so good here on Mirage. Yeah. Borup just walking into A gets a double kill. And I think the faster plays have actually quite consistently worked out for Heroic. Mm. So I wouldn't really be surprised to see them try and throw another quicker one in here if push comes to shove. Adian on the line. There's two CTs about to walk into it. Looks like, oh, Nico. Ambitious peak. Got the one dig through the wall. So it wasn't enough. And Kadian gets away with his life just barely. I think you've got to respect it at least going down on their own terms here, FaZe. They're not letting Heroic dictate how this game is playing out. FaZe are the ones that are trying to make something happen. But both frags have gone the way of Heroic. And now, really, it should just be a case of... Heroic working their way through this map and clearing it out and winning 16 to 9. That's what's ahead of them here. Cold Sierra has a FAMAS. He's holding on the van line. Oh, Brokey. Brokey double on short. He's got the bomb as well. Borok slow. Down. That's a critical trade. It's a one on two. Rain can do this though with a deagle in hand, but not against Steph.